Te te te. I become a market auntie. Hello. <laughs> 要吃什么？哈Welcome back to the Lim House. So today, very special. We are visiting one of my mummy friend, Winnie. So both me and Winnie connect through Instagram. And if you are following me on Instagram, you will know that a few weeks ago we had a Instagram live to talk about the renovation challenges with kids. So a lot of you mentioned that you guys want to tour her place. So here we are. So、uh, we she's staying in a four room resale flat in northeast area, and her place is also very beautiful. So let's go. Check it out. Hello. Hi. So I've been here like a couple of times already, so I can take you guys around. And Winnie will, <laughs> will she will tell us what、uh, what is her like, you know, all the de her design decisions for this place. So Winnie, first, how many room is this flat? Uh, I'm staying in a four room flat in the northeast area. Yeah, it's a resale flat. So, flat. so we understand that you have、uh, three kids. Does the、uh, two kids sleep together or what? Uh, yeah, the girls have a room by themselves. Then、okay. the boys have a room of its own. So two girls in one room by themselves and、uh, Luke's room, yeah, right? Correct. So we need this setty area is so special. It's like those like on Pinterest. So is this like your own design or like? Uh, so we actually hired a interior stylist. So she actually proposed to have an arch like this with an area、um, for the kids to sit down. Yeah, yeah, they, good hall for the kids to sit yeah, down. Yeah, for the sit down when they want to wear their shoes or this. So basically,、uh, we quite like the idea of this, and then I requested for like storage. Oh, so this one can open up. Yeah, inside. Is、well. it like a tic tac kind? Ah,、uh, yes, it's all tic tac. Hey, Jiang. Ah, you probably need. I'm not tall enough, but. Oh, okay. So, so normally we keep those、top. things that are usually not in use on top. This one, this one, so cute. It's like a just put what one baby doll. Ah,、uh, no, it used to be a、uh, a gift from Luke to the sister when、oh, he's born. So, so we actually got it from Bomiji.、Oh, so、They、nice. actually specialize in all the rattan. Yeah, very good yeah. quality. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I remember you have been. You have this for very long already, right? Do they still play with it? Uh, yeah. Sometimes you still sit inside. Oh. Then the sister actually push them. Hey, so you recently bought this piano, right? Uh, yeah. For your. Yeah, my elder daughter is actually learning piano,、Ooh. so we actually bought this. This used to be a play area for them, but now we converted it to a recreation. So all three of them will learn piano. Uh, not sure. Depending on what their interest would be. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So like, quite nice, ah.、Uh, if you if you open the window like that, you know. Cause our house is quite windy, so yeah, you can see the sea, and then you have a feeling to uh, 创作 you know, <laughs> 周杰伦就是那种周杰伦就这样练出来的 <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so what is a good age for kids to learn piano? Um, I think three, three years old. Really? Really. Huh? When they start recognizing alphabets like A B C D E F. Oh, that's Jonas now. One, two, three. Then they can just start learning.、Oh. So we are at the living area of Winnie's place. So this is the the living area where you see like quite similar to us. We have the wall niche shelf. So actually, we also our house also kind of draw inspiration from Winnie and another friend Kim's place. We all have wall niche shelves, and I think it's quite a nice feature. So Winnie, another question I have for you is like, how come no room door one? Where are all your rooms? Uh, they actually uh. Here, if you can see, they actually got plush inside together with the mini console. Wow. Okay.、Uh, so you want to bring us to the、yeah. girls' room? Yeah. So if you open up here, right, you'll be there. You go. Whoa! I don't have a girl, so <laughs> this is like a dream room, dream room for me. So let's go in and see. Wow, so this room is the girls' room, right? So when they move in, they straight away sleep together, or before that, they were also sleeping together. Uh, no, the younger one is actually has been sleeping with us. So once we shifted in, we decided to 
um, kind of transit her to her own bed. Oh, very nice bed. Yeah. So this bed apparently <laughs> is very, very popular. It's from Crit and Barrel yeah. and this brand called Jenny Lind. Right, so it's kind of like out of stock already. So it's too bad, you guys who wanted yeah. this this bed, y'all can write to Crate and Barrel to ask them for a good buy or whatever. But it's so pretty. Look at these details here. It's like so dreamy and nice, right? So how much is one bed like that? Uh, I think just the frame itself about a thousand plus. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it was after discount. They were selling discount. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Then what's this TP for? Oh, this is actually sometimes you will tend to convert the place into like the play area or they can... How, how to convert? I can push in this thing right and then have more plays. Oh. Then they can just set it up and play the hide and seek. So cool. So all these like the design stylists will... Uh, this kind of like details does the design stylist do for you guys or...? Uh, yeah, they do. They do plan out like from the type of bed sheets that you should have, etc. Oh, okay. So very tiny details, they will just also look into it. Oh. And also considering our um, lifestyle, they incorporated in as well. Yeah, Because uh, for the kids, we wanted an area for them to read their book. Okay. So, yeah, so this area. Yeah, this is. Oh, so nice. Oh, this table can leave out, one. Yeah. This oh, is actually. So cool. uh, is this from like Lily Woods? Uh, yeah, it's from Lily Woods. You can actually convert it into. Wow, a, so cool. A chalkboard. Chalkboard. Yeah, okay. so they can actually do some painting or whatever. Nice. Yeah, yeah and this is also from Mommy G, right? Yeah, yeah from Mommy G. Wow, very sturdy. I love it. Okay. So now we're going to check out the master bedroom which has the most insta-worthy toilet. So let's go check it out. Wow, hello! Mr. Singh? Hey, hello. Hi, this is uh, the male owner of this place, Pinta. So let's go and check out their room. So this is uh, Winnie's master bedroom. You want to share with us like what's the... what's about uh, your design of this place? Uh, so I, I really love scallop, so we decided to have fun. Scallop headboard. And then we have the uh, bedside uh, table. They are all from Momiji, customized mm. from Momiji. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we have our bathings. They are all from Sunday bathings. We really like it. They are really soft. Okay. Yeah. Wow, let me try. Yeah, you can give it a try. Oh, really comfortable, huh? So ladies and gentlemen, now you are looking at the prettiest <laughs> toilet on Instagram. So this is uh, the pink toilet, pink scallop. Is this called ice cream towels or uh, scallop towels? Uh, I'm not sure whether what it is. Yeah, I, I think there are really people who call it ice cream towels. Yeah. There are people who call it scallop towels. Yeah. But I actually think quite nice. Uh. So what, what inspires you to uh, have this toilet and how does you convince Pinta to have a pink toilet like this? At our first home, we didn't rent on the toilet at all. So it's kind of like, uh, we're gonna stay long term. So I kind of like tell him that, uh, anyway, it's the master, it's actually uh, my toilet. <laughs> so yeah. So it's okay. I like I like that you say my <laughs> toilet. Yeah. So uh, usually the ladies will have spent a lot of time in the toilet. Okay, like what I mentioned just now, we all have our <laughs> our like wall niche shelves. So what inspires you to have a wall niche shelves like that? Do you also see from Pinterest and all that? Yeah, we do have ideas from Pinterest, and then we really wanted some. Um, area where we can actually display uh, our favorite things along with some photos where the kids can actually look at. Yeah. Nice. So, I will, yours is like slightly thicker, like because mine is just like one board like that, so slightly thicker, right? Hey, Winnie, I ask you. So, with so many kids, right? Why do you even choose this colour as your sofa colour? Because for me, we choose the leather so that it's easy to clean and then, you know, water drip or pee drip or pool drip we can clean it easily. Like last time our sofa was Kivik Ikea which is the fabric one. Mm -hmm. So like, how you maintain it with three kids and like one baby toddling around? Okay, actually our first choice is to actually choose a leather sofa but then due to Covid, everything went on low stock so we, we survived through a few months without the sofa. Then the supplier actually uh, recommended us this uh, new technology that they have for fabric which is called the Aqua Clean. Oh, this yeah. is the Aqua Clean? So meaning what? Can wipe? Uh? Uh, you, if you find a stain or anything like coffee stain somewhere, right? you can just use a, a detergent and then use a brush okay. to brush it off, it comes off the and then dry, uh, use the hair dryer to dry it. Yeah, I realise your curtain very special. Eh? It's like those kind of like a European, European design. So what's this curtain called? 
this is actually called the Roman uh, curtain. We got it from the uh, design curtain company. Okay. Curtain. How do you how do you pull down? Uh, so it's actually the same. Oh. Oh. Okay. So cool. Welcome to Luke's room. Wow. So cute. Yeah. So uh, this is Luke's room. Okay. So we have a. Uh, a shelf there for him to actually pick up his toy by himself. Mm -hmm. Then this is actually uh his cord. Okay. From the hatchery creep. Oh hatchery creeps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. this I can actually convert to a toddler bit. Oh okay. Are you intending to do that? Uh not so soon. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but this can be uh transformed, so that's why we have to this. I see, I see. I realize you also have these wall decals, very cute. They look like little moles. Like, I think I add eyes and a smiley uh, face with like So these are decals that do you paste yourself? Uh, they are actually pasted by Interior Stylish, oh, uh, House okay. of Choice. Okay. So we got all these decals from um, Hello Circles. Okay, yes. Hello Circles. Yeah. If you notice our living room, the settee. the settee as well as the girls' room, we have the wallpaper over it. So they are all from Hello Circles. Nice, nice. And then this rattan shelf? Uh, this is from a US uh, website that's sourced by our interior stylist. Oh, okay. So the perks of uh, getting an interior stylist is like you don't have to think of this little little decor stuff lah mm, because yeah. they really put together. They put yeah. together and all I have to do is just to uh, choose and select the one that ah, I want. Ah, nice, yeah. nice. Wow, so this IKEA kitchen, I finally meet it in person. <laughs> so one story about me and Winnie is that we uh, we kind of get acquainted with one another through a Duktik IKEA Duktik kitchen because uh, when I was uh, planning to give my boy Jonas his IKEA Duktik kitchen, we planned to DIY ourselves also like paint and all that. That is when Jonas was two years old and I chanced upon Winnie's uh, dairy post. So like during the dairy post, she kind of introduced like what are the non-toxic paint or that what to use to actually uh, for the kitchen. So this is the version 2, right? Yeah, this is the version 2. She just did this. just revamped the kitchen kitchen set so we actually painted in an early brown because previously it was pink which is uh yeah for the girls so now I have another boy so I decided to paint something neutral. Nice nice so like the handles all that where is it from? Uh, and, uh, they are actually from a uh, Shopee. See those that we spray paint on right they actually tends to um fade off or drop off so yeah I'm very glad that I found a wooden yeah uh, nice nice and all these are from a uh, Singapore brand called Earn Stories. Yeah, they're very <laughs> pretty and cute. <laughs> and we have the and we have the little tea sets here, right? Yeah. And this poster? This poster quite uh, cute. This poster is uh, from Little Mushroom Print. Little okay. Mushroom Print. Yeah, so basically they have a lot of canvas kind and some the kids doesn't. Oh this is canvas. Yeah, it's canvas, it's not paper. Because oh, so the kids cool. tend to actually grab it and pull it. So oh, yeah. yeah, quite so this quite is, good idea. Yeah, correct. Yeah, nice. we have our uh, wooden signage from Old Friday here. Old Friday? Yeah. Do you put it using the blue tag? Uh, yes, I did. White blue tag? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great. And then so we, we, we also have some books over here because uh, Luke loves to read books. So she, he will normally go to that area. Uh, yeah, to that area the most. So I'm going to show you guys a magic because both me and Winnie got this thing. So when you shift, so you know the IKEA kitchen looks like that, right? But when you shift it over this way, da, 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 I become a market auntie. Hello! <laughs> Yo chu some more! Huh? So the kids can do play pretend with, with the decals here. Your decals are at a grocery store. Uh mine is the tuck shop delight. Oh uh, yeah, because my kids is going to run one soon. Oh okay. Yeah, I did actually up a DIY menu with the Wait, 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 wait. I think it's on the other, the other end. Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. So, normally, what I do is. Uh, yeah. Hello! <laughs> yeah, about to eat yuan mian and liang mao. Yeah, chicken no. rice 140. Oh, wow, now the chicken rice 140. I reference it from the school's primary school oh, uh, website. Macaroni, so not, yeah. chashu noodle. <laughs> nice. Quite yeah. cool. Then the kids will know how to. How money, right? Yeah, that's what I'm teaching uh, my elder one, right? Okay, Pinta, so what do you want to share about this door? Like, okay, so, so what came to this design and like, how do you all actually come up with this? The on top can open or not? No, it's all just for the looks. Okay, okay. But, uh, the main purpose of this is like just now we share in the master room because we wanted to have a more spacious master bedroom. 
So we decided to swing the door out. Oh, okay. Yeah, and because I wanted a TV console badly, because uh, for me, my requirement is that minimum wires to be shown. Yeah, that's why uh, my wife decided, okay, let's find do something that uh, cover up everything. So this one cover up everything, the wire or concealed inside? Yes, concealed inside. Okay, then all these are shelves. Yes, yeah, there's Oh, there. wow. My routers and whatever things that we require. So far, so good. Yeah, we are happy with this design because when people come here, they cannot really see the movie. Yeah, correct. Uh, yeah, Got a lot of privacy also, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's like a secret hideout. Oh, okay. All this colourful stuff in this secret door. I see. Secret cabinet, we call it. Great, great, great. Good idea. Welcome to Sing's Cafe. So this is also another Instagram worthy spot. So what, what inspires this design and like who came out with it? Yeah. Uh, so previously actually we wanted a, a long table, but then we realized that we don't have enough space. We wanted to have a lot of more space outside for the kids to run around. So we decided to uh, just settle for this uh, this spot for the dining. Yeah, so it kind of uh, hit our requirement. Now. Yeah, actually around table, we were also having the constant struggle whether to get a round table or a, a rectangular table. But because our space is uh, slightly bigger and then we host more friends, we decided to eventually get a, a rectangle one. But a round table is also quite a good choice because I always like the area of like like the feeling of um, everybody dining in in you know, one circle, yeah, right? It's very cozy, lah. Yeah, and, and I really like this area. It's all muted shades of pastel, pink, beigey. Yeah, your kitchen is like really white, and uh, I think these planks here make it look really lengthy. Yeah. yeah. So because um, in the previous house we actually have all all fulls of cabinets, but we don't really. Use them. So, really? Yeah, we don't That's the opposite of us because previously we had like that. We got not enough space for things. Mm, but for us, I find that um, those items are able to fit uh, nicely in all these areas that we currently have. Time round, we have a dishwasher. Dishwasher. Wash. Find a stand standalone dishwasher because I find that uh, we don't have a helper at home. So this definitely helps when we have guests over. Then yeah, we will normally send our dishes to wash right? mm, Nice. This actually took us the longest time to decide and how to conceptualize with our contractor along the Okay. Office. How come? Eh? Because normally the those dish rack you see is actually those blue two door that kind Yeah, of then with the yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So we didn't really wanted that. Oh so yours is special and yours is actually like got something below? Yeah, so we actually did with our acrylic uh Acrylic base, so the water still drip through, um, still drip onto here. Okay, then you all have to clear that lah. Yeah. The acrylic. We can actually change this like, every one year, two years. Yeah. Yeah. Decided to go without the handles because I find that um, I don't want my kids to actually open it. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh I yeah, I realize don't have the knobs and handles. Yeah, we don't really do knobs and handles, and we realize um all these corners are actually rounded. Oh. Especially um, requested by my husband to make it uh, kids friendly. Okay. Yeah. So everything in the house are quite centered around kids because we really wanted a safe environment for them. Nice, nice, nice. So here is Winnie's common toilet. So this design concept also yours? Uh yeah, we wanted a black and white uh, concept. So our interior style is actually a source for us for the Taobao house then we actually box up you could see that there's no pipe so we actually box it up oh don't box yeah, up okay yeah. what happened if the pipe spoil yeah that's a very good question we have been going back and forth our uh, when we are making our decision whether to box or not to box up so, so yeah. you all decided aesthetics <laughs> aesthetics win practicality <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So actually, if those people who are doing Reno will know that you know, it's many times it's really aesthetics versus functionality. functionality yeah. So in this case, they chose aesthetics. <laughs> so we've come to the end of the house of Winnie's place. Thank you, Winnie, for inviting us. Sometimes we self-invite ourselves over. <laughs> and uh, Winnie is really a good friend because uh, we always hang out together. We do a lot of mummy activities here. We chit-chat and all that. So very nice to have you as a friend. 
<laughs> anyway, her place is really nice and she keeps things minimal. So you can follow her on the Instagram. We'll put her link below. And thank you so much for having us. We really like your house. And I think uh, because they did their house earlier than us, uh, we had many, many ideas uh, that is from her. She gave us a lot of insights, uh, especially tips on how to uh, do what thing, like do what type of reno for to, to be, you know, kind of kids friendly. So thank you so much and we hope you like this video. If you like, you please press like and also subscribe to us because we are going to visit more houses. Next time we go to Kim's house together, okay? Okay. Okay, Watch so out. if you want to uh, see more videos, please comment below. We're going to bring you guys to more mommy's, uh, mommy's uh, place that has kids, you know, home tours that have kids around. Yeah, right. Okay, so stay tuned and please subscribe for more videos. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.